You know shit's getting real when Jim Cantori from the Weather Channel shows up in your hometown. Welcome to 772 Living with Lisa. Been spending the last three days agitating, worrying, and preparing for an incoming hurricane. Who would have thought living in Florida was like a marriage? You know what they say, for better or for worse. So, have things here at the house about 90% uh, wrapped up. Still have some last minute boarding up. Wine supply, a little on the low side. So, off to the grocery store we go, because this might be a long couple days. First thing you see when you come in the door is alcohol. Apparently Publix knows the uh, method of operation for Floridians. Over here at the House of Refuge. Water's always dramatic over here. Put a storm on top of it. Amps it up just a, just a hair. Ocean is definitely angry. So today I started off finishing up preparations here at the house. Then I went over to my mother's house after I hit the grocery store for the fourth time. It's amazing how you think you need more shit. More water, more food, more wine. You need more of everything when you're having a hurricane. But I guess the worst part about these particular situations, and I'm so used to them now, is the constant waiting, is the uncertainty, it's the forecast, the changes every eight to ten hours, jogs one way to the left, jogs one way to the right, one minute you're feeling relaxed, the next minute you're feeling like, holy crap, we got problems. It is what it is. I've lived in Florida 35 years. I've been through more hurricanes than I can count on two hands. Um, I've survived all of them. I've never had catastrophic damage, fortunately, but I've always prepared. You know, I mentioned earlier in this video, for better or for worse, and I can honestly say, after living here for more than 35 years, as crappy as it is to have a hurricane, the benefits of living here for me personally far outweigh the negatives. Sunday morning. And yes, once again, the forecast has changed. And now they are predicting it is jogging more to the west which makes us a little bit more nervous here. Monday. We're still waiting on it. That Dorian, sitting there, out of the ocean. They keep saying, it's gonna turn, it's gonna turn, it's gonna turn. Even thought Jim Cantori left. He even said he was leaving. We went downtown. Just missed him. Finished up 
his filming said he was going to South Carolina. Don't know what happened. I don't think I like that guy anymore. Dorian, Cat 5 Storm, is taunting us. Pray that it moves on its way. It's gonna be interesting to see how this all plays out. All I know is I'm ready for it to be over. I've eaten more junk food than I need to. coverage of Hurricane Dorian here. We're awaiting that 5 p.m. track, that advisory that comes out. We always look for it right around, starting around 4.30, 4.45 hour. That's right. Uh, really, this is the eye right here, and it hasn't moved all that much here in the 12 hours plus here. It's only moved about 10, 20 miles. City. Cabin fever going out while we still can. Cruise. We're back home. A lot of places aren't open, but the ones that are, they're racking it in. Came back, put it on the news. I think we're golden. The hurricane is heading north. Mind you, it's only at one mile per hour. Welcome to Tuesday in the hurricane zone. I thought for sure when I went to bed last night, when I got up, Dorian would be gone. Not the case. Literally, it's like Groundhog's Day. Over and over and over. You wake up, the storm is still sitting there. Hasn't moved out yet. Another day of waiting, another day of rain. Another day of eating junk food. I think my shirt says it all. On a serious note, I've seen lots of video of the devastation in the Bahamas and my heart goes out to them tremendously as it does for all Floridians. I have many, many friends that uh, spend a lot of time in the Bahamas. I have spent time there and unfortunately, I don't see things going back to the way that they were for them. So I do anticipate that uh, here in Florida we will have some uh, recovery efforts um, to bring supplies over to the Bahamas. If I find some good resources for that, I'll be happy to put them in the description box below. I would caution you, um, there'll be lots of people trolling the internet looking for donations. Make sure if you give money uh, for a recovery effort 
that you verify that they're a real organization because these situations bring out all the uh, slime balls who want to take your money and not for the right reasons. You know, at this point, I'm gonna have to go out and find Cantori and escort him out of my town. Jensen Beach Causeway, checking out the weather conditions. Also seeing if I can locate Jim Cantori so I can ask him to leave. I don't know if he's in one of those vehicles over there. He may still be here, he may not, but he's not filming. Yeah, he was hiding the whole time we were there. So, he's still there. Went to the causeway er earlier. Didn't see any sights of him. Went home, he's all over TV. I'm gonna catch him one time before he leaves. Well, I finally found Jim. One problem, though. Sheriff's department wouldn't let us get close. It was definitely a wet, sloppy filming event. I'd like to say I'll catch him another time. However, that would require another hurricane, and I'll pass on that. Got a little messy out there. And, uh, on. Everybody and their brother out here trying to get a glimpse of Jim. I just want to ask him rock star. to go away. Nicely. Unless you, of course, need to evacuate, then you need to do that as ordered. As far as the... It's still Tuesday. Just later in the day. And... Finally, Dorian seems to be on the move. North, west, at like five miles an hour. So it is leaving, thank freaking God. So hopefully by tomorrow, some of the rain will be gone. We can try to get back to some normalcy and quit eating tons and tons of junk food. If you would like to learn more about Florida living that doesn't include a hurricane, you can do that by hitting that subscribe button in the middle of the page. I post videos almost every week, and I would love to have you join me along the way. I'm Lisa Ammons with 772 Living. Thank you for stopping by. Stay safe.